Testing at least once a year for HIV and other sexually transmitted infections should be seen and practiced as a norm. But if you have put yourself at risk, it is essential you take the test, you know, to catch the virus early and to keep yourself and those close to you safe. So when should you consider getting tested for HIV? Number one, contact a healthcare professional if you have noticed any of the following symptoms or if you've done any of the following things. If you've had unprotected sex without a condom, shared injecting equipment that if you've shared an injection or a drip or anything like that, a suspicion that infected blood has gotten into your body. If you notice all these things, all you need to do is check online for the nearest testing facility. Number two, there are certain symptoms characteristic to an HIV infection and they are fever, you start having fever, you start shaking, you get rashes all over your body, you know, the night sweat, you're sweating, your muscle begins to ache, you have sore throat, you are tired, you are fatigued, you have swollen leaf nodes, you have mouth ulcer, you inside the mouth with a swell up. They can last anywhere from a week, or for they can last anywhere from a day to several weeks. Note, now, however, that none of these symptoms means you have HIV. Each of them can be caused by other illnesses. The best way to know is to get tested. Number three, if undetected or untreated, HIV will eventually weaken a person's immune system. This means it will progress to AIDS, the latest stage of the HIV infection. Here, symptoms can include rapid weight loss, eudostin, recurring fever or profuse sweat, extreme and unexplained tiredness, prolonged sweating of swelling of the lymph nodes in the armpits, neck, then sores of the mouth, anus or genitals. You have pneumonia, red, brown, pink or purplish blotches all over your skin, you know, memory loss, depression and other neurologic disorders. Again, note that each of these symptoms can be also be related to other illnesses. So the only way for you to know if you have HIV for sure is to get tested. Number four, if your HIV test is negative, you can stop worrying, just relax your mind. But keep the habit of getting tested regularly. If your HIV test is positive or reactive, you have to get tested once more to have your results checked again. If the diagnosis is confirmed, care and treatment routines will be prescribed to you. Many of us still think that a diagnosis of HIV is essentially a death sentence. Taking a HIV test often to some people often means a social stigma is, in fact, is done around that person. But today, HIV has been turned into a manageable virus we can control. Our HIV tests now are quick, painless, confidential and almost free. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips on staying safe and keeping your loved ones safe too. Bye guys.